Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, part four of my eight part series testing out a short term investing strategy. And this is the first time where we're gonna actually get some results. This is the first time I've actually sold some of the cards. Uh, and just to re refresh, the idea is to be buying cards just as seasons have ended and uh, you know people are sort of the least interested in the sport and then reselling them just as the season is starting when there's the most hype around the sport and focusing on uh, young young stars in the game and their key rookies in uh, in high grade. So bought a bunch of baseball cards in November as the season had just ended. Bought a bunch of football cards in uh, February as the yeah the season had just ended. And now uh, I've just sold the baseball cards here in March as spring training is is underway. And just to refresh part two, which was the buying baseball, these were the eleven cards that I purchased. Uh, two cards of Ellie De La Cruz, two cards of Julio Rodriguez, two cards of Jason Dominguez, and one each of Adley Rushman, Vladimir Guerrero uh, Jr., Pete Alonso, Manny Machado, and Xander Bogarts. Spent a total of $1,200. Uh, the cards themselves were $1,159, but then with shipping and sales taxes, it came to $1,200.65. Uh, bought four cards on eBay, five cards on PWCC, one card at Golden, on Golden, and one uh, card at a card show. So we'll go through each card one by one, what they sold for, and then we'll look at the total results afterwards. And I'll sort of spoil the ending a bit here. The final results were, uh, we'll say, less than optimal. All right, first card sold was a 2022 Bowman Chrome Mega Box LED De La Cruz. First Bowman Chrome card, PSA 10. It went for $73.77 in auction on eBay. Uh, every card that I sold, I sold on the same platform that I bought it on, with the exception of the card that I bought at the card show that I uh, also sold on eBay. Uh, another Ellie De La Cruz, this one's the uh, Bowman Chrome Atomic Refractor PSA 10. This one went for $260. Uh, Julio Rodriguez Tops Chrome Purple Refractor, this went for $51. Very disappointing sale on that one uh, on eBay. Another Julio Rodriguez, this is the Sapphire Edition PSA Gem Mint 10 Rookie, uh, went for $79 on uh, Golden. Jason Dominguez 2020 Bowman Chrome Sapphire, first Bowman Chrome card PSA 10, this went for $153.50. On eBay, this is the card that I uh, bought at the card show. Same card, but the paper prospect, this sold for $20.40 on PWCC. Adley Rushman, uh, Topps Chrome Pink Refractor, Rookie PSA 10. This went for $30 on an eBay auction. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero, Topps Chrome Prism Refractor, PSA Gem Mint 10. This sold for $72 uh, on a PWCC auction. Pete Alonzo, 2019 Topps Chrome Sepia Refractor, Rookie PSA 10. Sold for $40.80. Manny Machado, 2013 Topps Chrome Refractor, PSA 10 rookie, uh, went for $300. And Xander Bogarts, 2014 Topps Chrome Black Refractor out of 100, which is just a pop eight, uh, $216. The last two, Machado and, and Bogarts, were, didn't quite fit the bill for this experiment as they're, they're not exactly young stars, but uh, close enough, so I threw them in there. All right, so how'd we do? Well, when you factor in everything purchase price and all the expenses, shipping, sales, tax, uh, and seller fees, the word that I would use to describe it is yikes, $80 loss on the 11 card experiment here. That again is factoring everything and is you know essentially down to the penny. Now a couple things of note, I mean I guess you could call them of note. The cards did technically go up in value. The, the, the purchase price alone on the 11 cards was $1,159 and when I sold them the sale price was $1,296. So they went up about $140 as a group something like 12 percent uh, increase in value but uh but when you factor in of course shipping sales tax and seller fees it, the net result is a, an 80 dollar loss now as you know quite confident that this would show an increase but i really thought it would be a significantly higher increase than this you know more than enough to cover the uh the cost but obviously that was uh, not the case another thing i've noticed that only three of the 11 cards showed a profit on their own one of the ellie de la cruz's uh, the Pete Alonzo and the Manny Machado, you know, that's surprising to me that it was only 3 of 11. Now, this is a very small sample size, and maybe it just was not a good representative sample for whatever reason, but still uh, still a bit surprising. And really only one of the 11 cards showed what I would call a, a you know, a strong return. The Ellie De La Cruz and the Pete Alonzo were sort of like 10% return on your money over a five-month stretch, whereas the Manny Machado was a, a $74 profit on a $186 purchase. That's something like 40%. That's a nice return uh, from an investment standpoint, but really only one of 11 sort of falling into that category. And ironically, the Manny Machado didn't even sort of fit the, you know, the criteria of the experiment. This was supposed to be young, young, you know, young up and coming stars in the game, uh, whereas Manny Machado is much more of an established veteran. So he was just sort of thrown in there and, and really didn't even fit. So that's, uh, like I said, something of note. 
but yeah, overall, a very disappointing result. And, you know, for me, quite surprising. I really thought these would do better. I'm sort of tempted to, to just drop the basketball plan altogether since I haven't done the buying yet. I've already done the football buying, so I'll go ahead and let that ride and do a, a football selling video, you know, in August or whatever. Uh, so we can at least see the results there. But I might just drop the basketball after seeing how poorly the, uh, the baseball did here. But uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. One more thing I wanted to share with everybody. I have gone ahead and uh, written a book, and it is available for sale. It's titled How to Lose Money Investing in Baseball Cards. I highly recommend it. Uh, it'll tell you everything you want to know about how to lose money uh, investing in baseball cards, as the title says. So if you just have too much money laying around and you don't know what to do about it, this book will teach you all the tricks of the trade on how to get uh, rid of a bunch of it. But thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all again next time. Thanks, everyone.